In this tutorial, we'll take a look at some basic stair editing techniques. If you look at the Stair Builder menu, you'll see four handy editing tools. Select Entire Stair or Railing selects all the linked elements. Update 3D Stair refreshes the 3D model. Split Stair breaks the stair into shorter lengths. You can adjust either the shape of the stair component or the reference line along which it runs. I'll turn the Stair Shape Edit mode off so I can adjust the reference line. The reference line immediately becomes visible. When a stair component is initially placed, its path is always a straight line. This is true for flights, landings, and radial winders. To create a curved path, adjust the hotspot at the top and end the of the reference line. line. You can use the same hotspot to change the radius or angle of the flight. You can also go back to a straight flight. The component will snap back to a straight line when you get close. Adjusting the curve with the top reference line hotspot is very flexible, but does not give you direct control over the exact value of the angle or radius. When you curve radial winders, extra edges are added as required. To accurately set the angle, adjust the angle hotspot. I want my winders to turn through 90 degrees, so I'll type in this value. Now I want my winder treads to meet at a point. I'll adjust the radius using the center hotspot. I can't set a zero length or radius for the reference line, but I can match the radius to the width of the stair. This gives a zero radius on the non-reference side of the stair. To change the angle of a segmented landing, select all the components you want to rotate and simply rotate them around a fixed point. Now I'll change to the shape editing mode. When I changed mode, the reference line vanished and some extra hot spots appeared. In this mode, I can adjust each edge of the stair independently. If I move a corner hot spot, I can change the width of the stair at that end. This creates a tapered stair. stair. If I move a hot spot at the midpoint, I can create a curved edge. The exact same control is available for stair components that follow a curved path. 